Hello and welcome to Online Trade Academy trading series. My name is Derek Zalek. I'm the master instructor for Online Trade Academy. Some of you have asked me before, uh, is what's the way of using VIX? And is, if VIX is a helpful tool for me to spot reversal and trends? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, it's not only useful for options traders. Obviously, options traders will use VIX, which is measure of volatility of options traded, in our case, on the Nifty. Uh, first of all, let me explain what VIX is. Since it measures volatility of trading in options, and this will take actually a lot more uh, than a short video for me to explain this. It's actually a very complex topic. But I'd like to keep it simple. When the way I'm looking at the VIX, it's that VIX will travel in the opposite direction of the market. So when the market is rising, okay, VIX is typically going to be declining. The volatility is typically going to be decreasing. And when the prices are declining of the market, what's going to happen to the VIX? VIX is going to be rising. So VIX, okay, it's going to be rising at this point, okay, when the prices are declining. When the prices are rising right here, our readings of the VIX right here are going to be going down. So usually at the peaks, usually at the peak levels, what's going to happen is VIX is going to be going down. Okay, so VIX is going to have a low reading. When the market goes down, VIX is typically going to be very high, right? So VIX is high, okay? At the low point on pricing, VIX is going to be very low on the high pricing. Now, what does it mean low VIX reading and a high VIX reading. Typically for the Indian market, we have a high reading of the VIX, uh, usually anywhere from 24 to 25 uh, points readings, and the low reading is roughly around 16 to 17 points. So let's take a look at charts. How does that work and how can we take a benefit from it? First of all, uh, to get VIX, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn into obviously charts. So when I, actually our platform here, Trade Tiger, has the ability to get VIX. A lot of you maybe don't even know this, but you can go right here. Let me just actually go to Market Watch, and I'm going to pick it up. There's a, a button that is called All. This is basically for all indices. So when I double click on this, I'm going to open up all indices, and all I'm going to do is to try to locate VIX. And yes, here it is. Here is India VIX, okay? index and I'm just going to double click on that to open up on my chart and now I'm going to correlate or try to give you a way to uh, reference this VIX reading so let me just uh, remove some tools here and so here's the deal I said that when VIX goes above 25 it tends to be relatively price that's probably oversold. So take a look well, the latest point that we've had and I am pointing right here in the VIX chart and it tells me February 25th. So if I look at February 25th, what happened to the market? Let's, I'm just going to basically point out right now to February 25th and let's just take a look. So February 25th, it's that low right here. I'm just going to basically create a mark. So with my vertical line. So right here, okay, this shows me and I'm just going to zoom into it so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on these charts. So here is February 25th. Okay, that low, that high right here, I'm just going to basically provide it also that level of February 25th. It's right here. Okay, so basically this shows me that I should not be looking for short opportunities. If anything, I'm looking for opportunities to the upside. Okay, another time when we've had relatively high level of the VIX, all you have to do is plot an area of 25, 26. And when we get again above this 26 to look for long opportunity, uh, for uh, long opportunities, right here on March 15th. Let's take a look what happened on March 15 on the market. I'm going to look at March 15. I'm just uh, find first March 15. And I remember very well that's this dot right here. So let me provide a dot. So March 15 is also right here. So market told me in two places that I should be looking for long opportunities. And if you look. On both of the occasions, this was a pretty much the low for price on Nifty, just as here, just as it was here. Yes, it slightly provide a uh, 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 very little bit lower low, but then look at the move that happened thereafter. So VIX, it's a nice indication to tell me when the trend is likely over in a downward move, 
And also on the low side is, when we get closer towards reading of 1617, be aware of it, that basically when the VIX is low, it's time to go. So here's the saying, when VIX is high, it's time to buy. When VIX is low, it's time to go, meaning sell or sell short. I hope that helps. Happy trades, green trades, and I'll see you in the next series.